Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to look at how to create an invoice inside Microsoft Access. The invoice itself will actually um, be two parts. <clears throat> the first one uh, will be part one. We're going to create an invoice table. <clears throat> so we can create it straight from scratch. So we'll go up here to create. We'll select table. And as always, <clears throat> we're going to want to go into design view and we'll call this Invoice table. So I've already got one here, so I'm going to call this invoice table two. All right. Uh, now, once we're here, we're going to want our first field just to be called invoice ID. And we'll leave that as an auto number because what's going to happen is every time you select a new record, uh, this will be the primary key which will allow us to link it to other uh, tables and queries, as you'll see later on. But this will gener automatically generate a new invoice uh, number for us, which is what we want. So we're building the top half of the invoice right now, which will contain an invoice number, the date, customer information, and of course, we'll want the employee information. So in our next field, we're going to call this date of sale. And we will select for data type, date and time. So when we go to our invoice, we'll get one of those little calendar icons that allow us to choose a uh, date. Uh, next, we're gonna wanna select our employee. And we're gonna do a lookup here using the lookup wizard. And we wanna uh, pick it from another table, select next. And of course, we're gonna wanna get this from our employee table. And the only thing we're gonna want for this field is the employee's name. Select next, and we want to sort this by employee, employee's name, and next. And now we can see when this field is activated, it's just going to show us and allow us to pick from the list of employees in our drop down menu from our table. We'll call, leave it as employee, and as always, we'll select enable data integrity, and we'll finish. Yes, we will save that. And as always, when we are making a, performing a function like this in Access, we want to go back and take a look at our data relationship uh, between our tables to make sure everything carried out the way that uh, we wanted it to and as it was expected. So under Data Tools, go to Relationships. And now I've got a little invoice table 2 here that I've created. And we can see that this employee field that we created is linked to the employee ID. So that's great. So we can have one employee and create many invoices. So that worked out exactly as we want. We'll select save and close this. The next thing we're gonna want is our customer. So we'll select customer ID. Again, this will be a lookup from our customer table that we created. Yes, we'll leave the default here to select another table, customer table. And we're going to want the customer's last name and their first name. Now, if we were building a larger full-size invoice, we would pull over all this uh, other information. But for this, uh, this assignment and this uh, project, we're just going to pick, we're just going to select the names. Okay. And uh, we will select it by last name. That's how we're going to want it to sort. It's like next. And now you can see this is what it'll look like when it comes up in the invoice field. And we select the uh, drop down menu for our customer. Select next. We'll leave that as customer ID. Choose enable data integrity. Finish. Yes, we have the same relationship. And if we go back once again to our database tools and select our relationships, we will see this secondary relationship now of this. Uh, mine's called invoice table two, but if you haven't gotten this far in the project and you're trying to get caught up, yours would just simply be called uh, invoice table. And now we can see we've got the uh, invoice table uh, linked to our customer table, right? So one customer again here can have many invoices. <clears throat> so that turned out exactly the way that we wanted it. We will save it and close it, okay? This is all that we need for the top portion of our invoice that we're making. Okay, so we're going to save that and we will close it. Uh, before we close it and move on to the next tutorial, again, so in this, uh, to recap again, 
We created an invoice ID field as an auto number, the date of sale, with the data type being uh, date and time. The employee field, we did a lookup to our employee table and we just wanted the employee's name. And lastly, our customer information, we did a lookup to pull over the customer's last name and first name. So this section, as you see, when we move on to our uh, invoice form, this will be the top portion of our, um, of our invoice. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna create is called an invoice detail table. And in, in that portion, we're gonna be building the bottom half of our invoice. And that's gonna have product, quantity, price, and all that sort of information. So uh, when you get this completed, please have a look at the uh, second video. And once we get past the uh, invoice detail table, we'll move on to finalizing our invoice uh, form.